welcome this is Marshall Ta. in this video I am working with an HR data set and uh, this is my data set right here so this is the data dictionary and here I'm looking at some columns with the, the future of each column the description and uh, the data types all right so this is an HR data set and using this data set I was able to create this data module in Cognos Analytics 11.1 release 4. Okay, so uh, in this data module, I'm trying to like uh, get a profile of my data set and uh, to work on the data points. So I create, I came up with some data points like uh, the duration of service, which was uh, which I derived from from the date of hire right so are you using the days between function i came up with uh, the day the, the duration of service of each employee in days as you see it right here so i also came up with uh, like for the age of each employee using the date of birth i came up with the days employed like number of days somebody has been employed with the company using the days between function as well Right, days between function, the higher date and the termination date. Right, so beside that, I also uh, came up with uh, the full name. Initially, we had the, uh, the employee name, and the employee name came in with a delimiter in the data set. And uh, here we had a delimiter between the first name and the last name. So, what I did was to split employee name into the first name and last name then I did a concat of the first and last name to get the full name without the delimiter all right so after doing all of that and making sure uh, all my columns are well arranged and uh, uh, organized I came up with this dashboard an HR dashboard and in this dashboard I'm mainly looking at uh, a pie chart, a spiral, a spiral chart, a, a map, some KPIs, some tables, and um, column line chart. So what I see on this dashboard is that, for instance, the IS, the IT and IS department, right, had the lowest longevity, right, and the the admin offices. Had the youngest employees, right? Meanwhile, the, the, the executive office had the oldest employees in the company with an average age of 65 years. Uh, I also noticed on this uh, performance satisfaction score by department chart that the, the, the production department had a higher satisfaction and performance compared to the executive office where the satisfaction was really low and the performance as well. Which is strange, and I also noticed across the years that, on in 2011, uh, we had the highest number of employees and managers. And on the on this map, I'm looking at the engagement survey. Uh, the engagement survey sh showing me that in California, the engagement was really high, 4.77, as compared to other states. The red, compared to the green, the red like a PA where the engagement is really low. And on this uh, spiral. Uh, longevity map uh, chart I'm looking at some predictors some drivers uh, like what is driving longevity in the company or what what other data said is, is uh, the main predictor of longevity and here I see that the higher year and the higher month uh, contributes 99 percent so uh, and you see that you can scroll down to see how each other data point affects the longevity uh, on this chart on this uh, pie chart I see the number of employees by department and I also see the on this table on this table I see the number of projects completed by each manager and I see the KPIs for example I see the average tenure in days was 766 days so on, on average an employee will work for the company for 766 days and on the top here I see uh, the best employees and the, the elderly employees, the longest seven employees, and uh, I think that's 
or like, you also have some KP, some uh, filter to filter the, the whole dashboard, the manifest status, and the sex. All right, thank you.